Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kelly. I'm in Zapata, Texas. Uh, we're staying here, but this morning we went to the border of Mexico and Texas, and it's called uh, Rio Grande, the river, and we caught massive alligator gar. Incredible experience. It was insane. Um, it was probably about 100 degrees out, super hot, so we uh, finished up our fishing. I caught a massive alligator gar. Gabe caught a massive alligator gar. We went back to the house for a few hours, showered, got cleaned up, rested, and now it's sunset. Check it out. Right now we're getting the boat back in the water and we're gonna go fish for some big catfish. Um, so they got big blue cats. We have flatheads, channel cats, um, pretty much any catfish you can think of and they're massive. So hopefully we'll hook up to some and uh, you guys will get to see some massive catfish. Here's Blue Gabe right now with the trailer. Bro. Hey girl, you need a ride? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought there was some confrontation at the dock, but we're all good. All right. Yes. All right, guys, I'll see you out on the water. We take a look at this. We're using a seven knot Dell's tackle signature offset circle hook right in the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. And it ain't coming out either. You might have to apply it. Normally, you can just spin a circle hook out. I got it. Just spin it out. Oh, I thought I had it. So sick. Dang. Thing won't go anywhere. No. There you go. No, we got it. What? Do you want to go noodling with me next year? I do. All right, I... Stick your finger in there and feel how sharp their teeth are. Ow. Yeah. I feel them. I looked a catfish in Venice once. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I went ahead and grabbed them and I was like, ooh. Kelly Young. What's up? Blue Gabe. What are you live on? Facebook. Facebook. Anyhow, Kelly, we turn them loose this small. In Kentucky. Don't matter. We need right. one to eat. I just got this one. Come on, Miss Kelly Young. Keep, keep, keep it tight. Uh, he's just not big. Perfect. That's all right. We need a small one. He's swimming. What the? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. This is strange. I don't think he's on anymore, but I'm gonna reel it. It's gotta be, he was on there. <laughs> I don't he feel just, anything. He is he just booking it to the boat or is he that little? He's, a freaking, <laughs> he's, he's tiny. Perfect one to eat. Oh, look at him. All right, I gotta step up my game. Oh, oh, you catch the big gar, but you see who puts the big catfish in the <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's so white. He's literally albino. That's like a catfish, just smaller. All right, I want to I want to get a picture with my monster. Hold up. All right, should I lip them? Dude, the glow in the dark things are ingenious. Yeah, they are. All right, let's go to the front of the boat with this with this bad boy. Don't slip now. Pulling up monsters here in Texas. Look, this is a blue cat. He's super, super light colored. Oh, actually, he's getting a little darker now that I'm handling him. He's a cute little guy. You he's... need to put him on ice. You want to eat him? Yeah. I want to eat him. She just asked, do I want to eat him? Like, wouldn't... no, I don't want to eat him. He's low on calories, no sugar content. <laughs> so one cool thing about Kelly, and I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm not the healthiest eater in the world, and oh my god, does she ride my butt. She literally checks my breakfast and my lunch and my dinner. By like midway through breakfast, she's like, you're already over your sugar content. <laughs> More like after your Mountain Dew for your coffee in the morning. <laughs> All put right, him on ice. <laughs> we're going to put him on ice and fry up some catfish later, maybe tomorrow, and he just pooped. So that's it landed on my foot. <laughs> no, it's all look oh, at the deck. Well, I felt it splatter. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's go catch some bigger ones. Yeah. I just put one in the box. Oh yeah, you just put one in the box. I forgot. Does this one feel bigger? No. We're in a, a little Who's kitty. Who's texting us? Kitty pond. Don't people know we're working? Who's texting me? 
That was is me. He that coming? Time. Is he on there, Kelly? Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. I'm catching lunch for tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. Go, little kitty. Oh, there is a little head shake. It's alright, because you know what comes after the little ones? The big ones. He is a little bit bigger than the one I just caught. That one's much darker. Is that a, that's a blue, so. yeah. Keep him too? I want to fry some catfish. I want a catfish fry. Yeah, we'll have a catfish fry at the ranch tomorrow night. What, what do you say? Oh, you want to have a catfish fry too? Okay. He's like, yeah. Look at, Pull Look at that belly. Shot of gorging. Mm. Alrighty. Are you going to just hog all the fish? Yeah. Feeding them, Kelly? Yeah, it's another. Listen, I'm going to catch a bunch of little ones just to uh, match your big one. I think a lot of your followers will agree. It might be better watching you. Watch Whoa. it! What was that? Sorry, I couldn't see. The light's so blinding. But I didn't have I just sit back and enjoy the view and be the cameraman. I can't see anything. Alright. Got him. Ugh. Who do you think's got him? She's a rod hog. <laughs> Is this Blue Gabe's video or Kelly Young's video? Kelly Young's video. What? What? Y'all hear that on Instagram? <laughs> I'm also Instagramming you. Get on I the hope other... this light brines it's, you. It brines me. It's brining me. Brining me, brining me. Is that too bright or you're good? Oh. Make sure he don't get to the right. Let's get over here. Oh, he was just pulling out towards me. I'm going to stand up there. Just gonna be over here. Kitty. That wasn't our fish, that was a giant gar. Yeah. I don't know. He's right here. Real fast, keep him out of the rock. Blue catfish. Ooh, it's a good one. You finally caught one big enough to keep. I, I finally did. I think y'all just saw a blue gabe catfish. What? This is a Kelly those, catfish. Uh, those orange clippers there, dude. Wait, what is this? All right, all right. My personal best blue catfish here in Texas. I've caught him before in Louisiana, but this is my my nice big blue cat in Texas. Ooh, so slimy. So white color. I can't get over how white they are here. Hey, little guy. What's he saying? He's saying, I want to be a taco. <laughs> no, we're going to let this one go. We caught some smaller ones earlier, and we're going to do a catch and cook with those tomorrow. Super excited to eat fried catfish. I do not eat fried food, but I love fried catfish. All right, let's get some pics with him. Hold that big daddy up. Nice, beautiful catfish. Where are we at, anyhow? We're in, hold We're on. We're on Falcon Lake right now. We're on Falcon Lake? Yeah, Falcon Lake. At Z, Z In Zapata, Texas. Zapata, Texas. <laughs> beautiful One. catfish. One, two. Let's take one with the GoPro real quick. Whew. Let me dim it down. This is the that goes. There you go. All right, we ready Hold to release him? Hold his head towards me a little bit, right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, we good? Can I release him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. My hand's cramping. 
30 Let's go over here. It's only 30 pounds. Did you get as many? 25. Oh, man. Oh. Man, I don't know if this is probably my max size that I would be able to noodle. That, <laughs> I assure you, when you come noodling with me, you're getting them bigger than that. Yeah, I know. But I'm using my whole arm and body weight to catch them. Ready, one, and... Oh, there you go, you're kicking. Just don't go towards the rocks. There we go, he's gone. Woo! Texas Kings Outdoors, massive alligator gar, big old blue cats, all here in Texas. I think she left out Blue Gabe somewhere in the middle of all that, but I think, did you, did you forget Blue Gobby? Who's Blue Gabe? That's me. <laughs> oh, he's on there. He's on? Big fish. Nice. Finally. So Kelly and I both are making a video and we've been tag teaming fish. She actually got the two good edible ones because we don't want to kill a really big one. And typically that's all I really catch is the big one. So I'd sort of just let her have the small ones. <laughs> all jokes aside, we're having a blast. We're sitting out here having fun. And tomorrow Kelly has informed me that we're having a fried fish cook-off. Yep. She challenged me. I didn't even mention it. So you guys, it's going to go down on Kelly Young and Blue Gabe on who's the best fried fish chef. Look at the big one. Let me back up. We know the footage is bad. It's a nighttime video but all of y'all at fish have fished at night before so you already know what you're seeing we're cranking away we got five other rods out and we're doing work this sounds like a dinosaur i don't know if y'all could just hear that watch that line i see it he's inside of it you're the shark So we are finally back at the ranch and it's time to do our catfish cook-off. Now um, normally I would have uh, marinated the catfish in the pickle juice, however we we're like running around like crazy, um, Gabe threw it in some vinegar uh, just to kind of knock off any of that muddy freshwater taste in catfish. Is this your secret ingredient? It is and you already busted it open. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> Alright. so. Um, just kind of winging it. I ran into Walmart, grabbed just random ingredients, and this is what I got. I got some Ritz crackers. Go ahead and put them in a bowl, mash them up. They're super easy to crumble into a breadcrumb. I've actually made baked chicken with um, cheddar cheese and Ritz crackers as breading, and it's so good. I've never had it on fish though, so we're gonna find out. So good. So good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian style panko breadcrumbs. You're trying to get fancy. What do you mean? I think you're just trying to win by being <laughs> the fanciest. Well, this is how I cook. I've never used fish fry, batter, anything. I always use breadcrumbs. I, see, I make my own, my own seasonings. Yeah, well. Right, never mind, but y'all didn't see that. <laughs> All right, I didn't even think of to grab egg either. Oh. Is there not egg over here? No, not there. I'll survive. No egg. In there. All right, so, where's that knife go? There was a knife here. Did you steal it? Mm-mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to chunk up the catfish just because I kind of want to make catfish bites and that way it cooks a lot easier. Or would it be catfish nuggets? Catfish nuggets? Yes. 
And it looks a little white because the vinegar that we soaked it in kind of cooks a little bit, like ceviche, if you ever um, made ceviche or soaked fish in lime juice. It does tend to cook the fish because it's so acidic -y. Another thing I would normally use is peanut oil. However, the store here didn't have it, so I'm using some butter and a little bit of this oil blend here. Just a little mixture of it. Like I said, just winging it. And I wanted to sprinkle a little bit of flour in here too. Just because I can. I mean, you already got 17 different ingredients. <laughs> Let's just add a couple more. Why not? I think the flour might help the breadcrumbs stick a little bit better to the fish. Normally I would use some egg, but like I said, we're winging it out here. All right. I feel like you're judging me right now. I'm not even saying anything. I'm the world's quietest cameraman right now. I can feel it through your eyes. You can eyes. feel my energy? Yes. You're just like, that's not gonna stick to the fish. All right. All right, so I'm winging this too. I'm gonna pour some pickle juice in here. What in the, what in the what? Yo, leave me alone. What in the what? Don't judge my catfish. But here's something I gotta tell all my fans that watch Kelly Young. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? it smells like fried pickles. Put a little bit of an oil blend, canola oil. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Look at your bucket of oil in there. Are you judging me? You might want to turn your heat up a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. Thanks, Blue Gabby. This is a weird oven. I've never used one like that before. Right. The excuses have just been rolling <laughs> and rolling. I didn't have peanut oil. Oh wait, we don't have egg. You know, I've I never used that. this oven. <laughs> Guess what? It's an even ballpark because I've never used this oven either. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, Linda. <laughs> Listen, Linda. Is this your Bud Light seltzer over? <laughs> yeah, give it here. It's better than Mountain Dew. Oh, you're flipping it already. Yeah, I mean, they're little nuggets. They cook pretty fast. Put the ones on the outside. I can tell you it smells good. Oh, it sounded good. Did you put any salt or anything on it? Um, no. Because the pickle juice and then the Italian seasonings. I didn't want to over salt it. You can always add salt later, you can't take it away. You got anything you want to tell your fans about the trip that you've experienced? Your first serious trip with Blue Gavi into the redneck world? Quote unquote redneck? The redneck world? <laughs> it was pretty amazing, pretty fun. Um, caught a snake randomly. Not something I would normally do, but I just had the sudden urge because I was just in between Texas and Mexico. Why not jump a snake? Caught a massive alligator gar. Insane. That thing was huge. Caught monster blue catfish. And now I'm experiencing the whole hunting lifestyle here on the ranch, which I'm completely new to. I'm just kind of absorbing everything right now because it's kind of shocking. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Yeah, it's looking done to me. Ah! Popping in you my You know face. why it's browning so fast? Because of the pickle juice? Nope. The sugar in those graham crackers. Or the sugar in the... Ritz cracker. Ritz cracker. That and it was on high. <laughs> Your tech tip of the week is, anytime you're cooking anything with sugar, it will overcook really quick. I didn't know that. But then again, every time I make fish, I literally just use butter, sea salt, a little bit of Danos, and call it a day. Whose idea was it to forget our Danos seasoning? Yours. <laughs> I did everything. Book the tickets, I had to do everything. I did that. Oh. <laughs> All right, this is looking nice, but nice and crispy. All right, Blue Gabby, see if you can beat this. 
I will say, it smells really good. I, I just, I'm gonna give her that. I love the cake. Are we gonna light it? I mean, are you gonna sing me happy birthday? Hell no. What? You were sweet enough to get me a cake and not even gonna mm. sing me happy birthday? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <coughs> All right, we ready? We're ready. So we're gonna be splitting this footage. So I don't know who's is who's because I wasn't gonna get it. Yeah, All but right. you were probably listening. And I give off some hints, and she is the pretty blonde. So typically she gets a little bit more credit than me. But you know, I know she didn't cook those. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the fins. The fins. I did not cook. Yeah. All right, diddly it out. <laughs> All right. All pressure's on you right no, now. No, everybody digs in. Yeah, everybody dig in. No, it's just you and Marco. Or me. All right. All right. So, no, you want to eat the flays. Oh, okay. This so is my not. part. <laughs> right. So when you eat a, a chunk of mine, you have to get some pickle on it. You have to chew the spine, or just uh, hmm? on your fin thing. You, you just chew, bite them. Chew the spine too. No, you pull it off like a hairbrush. Okay. <laughs> Fried catfish. Awesome. Boom. Justin, this is yours. Yeah. But, Thank you guys for bringing the for bringing the food. Well, thank you for having us. What you talking about? What you reaching for? Oh, I was gonna hold the GoPro like this. Oh, here. <laughs> Tired of holding the GoPro. Yeah, I know, right. All right, I'm going for Kelly's first. I'm going for yours. Pretty unique. What are you over there just squinting for? <laughs> what I didn't, like, even if I didn't like yours, I wouldn't be ordering mine. <laughs> it's spicy. That's spicy. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. And for all of you watching, you gotta check out Us Races Instagram. We'll put it in the link below. If you like hunting and like whitetail hunting, it does not get any better. I mean, check out the walls. <laughs> Are you gonna have nightmares because of these walls tonight? No. <laughs> but what if it was all sharks? It's messed up. <laughs> I think they're both so different that I like pickles. Dun, dun. What, what kind of uh, spice is that? Is that Tabasco? Mm -hmm. I like Tabasco. I saw it over there. I'm like, he owns this joint. And there's Tabasco here, so I know how to I know how to think wow. like other men think. I'm like, my lips are burning from eating yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only thing is, I need to figure out how to not make it soggy on the bottom with the. All the moisture. But Tabasco, my lips are on fire. These catfish were swimming around yesterday. probably on the Mexican side last night. <laughs> Literally, we were so close to the Mexican side. Mm -hmm. We heard a boat running last night with no lights, no nothing. We could just hear it running. So it was either smugglers, coyotes smuggling people or drugs, or it was a border patrol. But it was pitch black dark. <laughs> and there was a boat running really close to us. Amanda, huge shout out. Ram's wife, person we just went catfishing and gar fishing with, his beautiful wife made me a surprise cake all because of Kelly. I knew she was up to something shady, but I didn't know what. She's like, I gotta go to the store. I'm like, for what? She's like, can't tell you. <laughs> I, this is the last thing I thought she was up to. I can prompt. The lens looks like you wiped it like in the grease. <laughs> it looks fine. No. Yes, it does. Oh my hmm. God. Yes. All right, here's the 40 years and the 40 more. Happy it, birthday. I'm, I've been waiting to eat this thing all day. <laughs> it's about to go down right now. Look at this bad boy. 